doesn't matter how small you start, it's about what you can offer. everyone, I'm here with Marcel, the Head of Corporate Services of Garant Business Consultancy. And today we're going to talk about how to set up a business in Dubai, what are the requirements, how much it costs, and uh, then we'll reply some of your questions. So, hi Marcel, can you please Excellent. introduce yourself? Uh, thank you for your kind introduction. My name is Marcel, I'm a business consultant. Uh, I'm advising people on how to set up the business in the UE and make it in a cost-effective and time-effective manner. What are the five reasons why people should start a business in Dubai? I can highlight uh, five most distinguished uh, reasons why you should open the business in the UE. Uh, first, I think it is the low tax regime which allows you to uh, uh, generate your profits at the maximum level. Uh, there is the only tax which has been introduced a year back, which is the VET, and the rest is uh, not available, such as the corporate tax and other income taxes. Uh, the second reason I can say the market itself is quite uh, saturated in terms of uh, high net worth people. Whatever business you do generally uh, it has a great potential because you can have your own audience and it is very much available. Uh, the third reason is uh, that the infrastructure to do your business is very well developed. Uh, you have that ease of doing your business. It's um, systemized, you have uh, set standards which are easy to follow. Another reason is that uh, the UE has big exposure in the market. Uh, in particular we are talking about the GCC. Uh, a lot of business entrepreneurs, uh, they enter the local market in order to further expand their operations in the region. And last but not the least reason is uh, the profit repatriation. There is no financial control on repatriating your own profit and funds back to your country or wherever else you want it to be. And I heard about this new 10-year residency visa for investors. Can you uh, tell us, please? Tell sure, us. That's, that's correct. It's been introduced. There are two visas which were recently introduced, which are the 10 years and 5 years. Uh, there are certain conditions and criteria that you need to meet. Mostly those would be related to your uh, investments. 10 million for your 10, visa, 10, 10 years visa mm -hmm. and 5 million dirhams in your uh, 5 years visa. And how much money do you need to start a small business in Dubai? Let's say I want to start an e-commerce business or open just a marketing agency. Well, this depends on the uh, type of the companies. Uh, I would say that the cheapest option, the most budget, would be around 4,000 US dollars. Those would be companies in offshore jurisdictions. Uh, then there is a choice of uh, a free zone company or the LLC, which is the mainland company. Uh, there you have the budget of around eleven thousand dollars and twenty thousand US dollars. And uh, do you need to have a local partner? Uh, this would depend on the type of the business that you want to do. Uh, in all the cases where your business is located in the mainland, it would require a local partner, where the shared distribution within the company would belong to the local partner of fifty-one percent, and the rest of forty-nine percent will be held by the foreign investors. And how long does it take to attain the license? The time frame of licensing is quite short. If uh, all the required documentation is in order, uh, then the licensing takes about three to four working days. Uh, probably another question on how soon you get your business operated. So this is a little bit more complex and I would say that the shortest time you can have your business set and running is about four weeks. What are the benefits of having an agency to help you to set up the company? Well, it's very important uh, to seek a professional advice. I personally know a lot of cases when people try to do uh, their own business setup without the proper knowledge and then they committed several mistakes which took some consequences. 
So uh, having a local agent to do your business setup is very important since they have in-depth knowledge. Uh, they can assess your budget and they can do your proper business plan very precisely so that you will know your budget in advance. Not just when you start your business and then you realize that your budget is not fitting in, into what it is in reality. And what are the main mistakes people usually do when they try to set up their business on their own? Well, I, I think I can highlight two main uh, points. First would be uh, an activity of the business. Uh, as we may know, uh, there are around thousand different business activities in the UE and each of them uh, is kind of focused on a particular sphere. So uh, this is very important when you approach your business you would need to select those business activities that would match your goals and that will be eligible. Uh, the second point is I think it, it is banking. Um, a lot of people nowadays struggle to open bank accounts for their business. Uh, it is also quite complex procedure and uh, Again, agents would definitely know how to prepare your documentations and other business factors uh, in, the, in the correct manner. And let's say I want to open a business in the Dubai land where I need to have a local partner, right? Uh, so where can I find this local partner? How does it work? Is there is any like a database or special agencies? Well, yeah, if, if you are working with an agency from the beginning, they have uh, their own database of local partners whom they can refer. Uh, they would be classified again. Uh, there are some requirements when you, let's say, uh, register a construction company. It, it may not be registered just under any name of the local partner. So even the local partner should qualify for this kind of activities. Marcel, I have some questions from my subscribers about the business setup in Dubai and uh, I promised them to get the answers from you. Sure. So Would let's go through some of them. Yeah. So the first question is how to set up a consultancy business? What are the requirements? Uh, well, uh, it's quite easy. Um, we, uh, we can recommend some budget options uh, again with, with a total budget of around 10, 11,000 US dollars. Uh, from the requirements, we would uh, need the, the passport copies, the uh, proof of residence, the CVs and uh, the bank reference letters. Uh, so these are basically uh, most common requirements to start any company uh, to make the registration process. It would be important to choose the jurisdiction uh, where they would like to practice their activities, who would be their clients, and uh, based on this uh, they can start their company. Next question is uh, from the guy from Portugal. He is planning to move to Dubai and sell the furniture online across the UAE. What license does he need to obtain? Uh, how I see this, uh, this would be a normal trading license which will allow him to trade in furniture. Uh, this would also depend on how he wants to practice the trading activity, mm -hmm. whether it would be his own products or uh, which is commonly called now a drop shipping business where he buys the uh, product from his supplier and then he considers this as his own stock and then he sells further to his client. Then it would be normal trading activity and this would also depend whether he needs to have his own warehouse. If it is so, uh, there are options uh, where he can rent the warehouse or he can, let's say, get the warehouse from a third company on the outsource basis. If the uh, objective is to enter the uh, markets with the low costs and the uh, minimum efforts, this would be uh, a trading license probably in, in a northern emirate and uh, most of the services would be outsourced, such as logistics and the warehousing. If you are a solopreneur and you can't afford to set up a company, are there any freelance solutions available on the market? Well, there are a number of freelance activities which you can have, but those would be actually limited 
kind of limited. Let's say you cannot have uh, a trading activity under your freelance permit, since the freelance permit would mean a uh, professional scale. This will suit uh, individuals who are into photography or uh, in video shooting, uh, let's say they would be in marketing or in education. Mm -hmm. So those individuals may be easily uh, licensed in one of the free zones with the uh, freelance permit. And if I need to get a visa, how much will it cost? Visas are averagely rated uh, at a cost of 1000 or 1500 US dollars. And the permit? And the permit would cost around 2000 US dollars. So overall it's around 3500. We can say about 3000 to 4000 US dollars. And if you want to have a bank account, business bank account, is it possible to have with a freelance permit? Yes, this is possible. Banks uh, recognize such permits and they classify it as the business license. Accordingly, you can have your corporate bank account on this permit. Each country has its own uh, business culture and laws. And what are the challenges of running a business in the UAE? There are seven Emirates in total and the law slightly change from Emirate to Emirate. But the real challenges are would be taxation. It's quite new law that has been adopted in uh, 2018, which is the VET. For new businesses, it is very important to have, uh, to have proper uh, consultant, let's say, who can run this part on behalf of the company. Uh, I would say this is a challenge. And uh, the other challenge is what most of people face is the Sharia law when it specifically comes to inheritance issues. Uh, for non-Muslims, uh, if you do not register uh, a will which can be registered in uh, the international court which is located in DIFC, then all your uh, assets would be distributed as per Sharia law. Uh, to be specific, uh, around 12% goes to your wife, uh, another 16% goes to your father, 16% to your mother, 18% to your daughter and 36% to your son. So if you want to distribute your assets in a manner that you want to be distributed, then it's always important to register a will. But this is applicable only for non-Muslims. So what do you think about the future of the business in Dubai and what are the industries that have the biggest potential? Well, I believe uh, the future of Dubai is very positive. Uh, the government is trying to uh, to develop their own country as much as they can and they, they have uh, a good success in it. Businesses uh, are quite different, they are competitive and uh, a lot of people are trying to enter this market. As a statistics, uh, we uh, we noticed that a lot of trading companies uh, they, they set up their business in the UE uh, as well as uh, IT companies which are uh, mainly based in Dubai Silicon Oasis and uh, Dubai Internet City. So uh, these are probably the most uh, famous uh, business setups in the UE at this moment as we noticed. So, and the final question for today, if you're just starting as an entrepreneur and you want to set up your business in Dubai, but you have quite a small budget, and how difficult is it to compete with big players on the market? Well, uh, it is all about your business acumen. If your product is uh, competitive in the market, it doesn't matter how small you start. It's about what you can offer to the clients and how you can do this. I would say that it will take some time if you start small and if you want to grow your business in the country, it will take probably years. Uh, but at the same time, you can still survive. And if you, if you, if you assess your risks correctly and if you plan your budget precisely, Precisely, then you will get your success. Thank you Marcel for your time. Thank you for sharing this useful information with us. I hope guys you find uh, this video useful. You got quite a lot of interesting information. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And myself or Marcel will be happy to answer them. And thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.